Hey, I'm Michael Griswold, and in this video, we're going to talk about why it's virtually impossible for people to let go of a breakup, and how with the proper awareness, that doesn't have to be the case for you, even if you want to get back together with your ex. Now, before we get started, at first blush, when you first hear it, what I have to tell you is going to sound controversial, and you may not even agree with it. But I assure you, as you think about it, and as you consider it, you'll find that it's true. So, why is letting go of a breakup so hard? Well, in order to understand how to do it, we first have to figure out what's really going on. See, our initial reaction to getting dumped is to think, I need that person back, they're my soulmate, we had all this time together, there's nobody that I want more than them. And while all those things may be true, and while you may end up recreating a relationship with that person that's awesome, and that is the envy of all of your friends, the pain and the fear that you feel doesn't have to do with them being gone. It has to do with you feeling like your world is upside down. You see, over however long you've been with this person, you've created routines, you've created a certain expectation of life, and you've contributed to it. And then in an instant, or depending on how long the breakup took, maybe a couple of weeks, someone else took that ability to make decisions from you. One party says, we're not going to do that anymore, and you didn't even get a say. You see, when people take away our freedom, in whatever way it is, especially emotional freedom, it makes us feel very afraid and very vulnerable. And so, without recognizing this, we simply attach ourselves to whatever makes us feel that way, which is why we begin to chase, which is why we begin to panic. Now, first thing to do is not panic. Because it's not the person that made you feel that way. It was feeling like you had a sense of power. You had a sense of your life. You had a sense of being able to make decisions. See, the problem with chasing someone instinctively and in a panic, fear-stricken mode is that you're putting the control of your life into someone else's lap and you're pushing them farther away. So the first tip is, don't panic and don't begin chasing them just panicked. Instead, recognize that the fear and this feeling, this, this absolute hopelessness, doesn't have as much to do with them. Now, I'm repeating this a few times in different ways because it's, it's kind of a high concept. It's a high thought concept. And if you get it, it gives you an enormous amount of power because here's why. If you get this and recognize that you being able to regain control of your abilities to make decisions and control your life, then from a position of strength, you can recreate a relationship with this person that you're in love with that is memorable, where two people who are in good shape can go on to make memories, repair the things that were wrong with the relationship, and create a great one. If you just instinctively start chasing them, one, you're going to push them away, and two, you're never going to get to the heart of what's really going on, never regain that sense of peace, the sense of confidence, and the sense of poise. Now, to learn more, obviously, because this is easier said than done, right? You can check out reunitedrelationships.com. We've got a couple videos there and an entire course devoted to teaching you exactly how to do this and exactly how to re-establish a relationship and reintroduce a relationship that can be everything you want it to be. So check out reunitedrelationships.com and I'll see you over there.